Back on Sports Bit, betting insight today. Time for a big game breakdown. Always sponsored and powered by Bet Online. Check out the bonus page, sportsbookreview.com, for the latest and best offers to open a new account today. And check out SBR picks and SBR odds as well as we talk about these two games. Game six, World Series, 520 Pacific. Verlander against Hill. Astros lead the series three games to two. I can't believe it. Nothing but Dodgers money. This open a dollar ten, bet up to a dollar fifteen. Houston. Now the Dodgers are a dollar twenty, seven and a half the total. The big story here, though, Teddy, is the explosion with the home runs and the pitchers complaining. We have had twenty-two home runs in this series. Coming off what happened in Game Five. This is a Tom Tom Verducci store article in Sports Illustrated. You have McCullers, Verlander, all these pitchers. McCullers actually did the Pepsi challenge where they blindfolded him, and he could tell which baseballs were new and which were old. These balls are slick. They are new baseballs for the World Series. It was big in game three. Darvish said he couldn't throw his slider, and, and the, the pitchers are like, what the hell are you doing? Why are you changing baseballs in the World Series? Verlander said the same thing. I'm having problems throwing my damn breaking ball. <laughs> and the result of all of this is – an offensive explosion that everyone's talking about, a World Series filled with thrilling games that everyone's talking about. So the players might be complaining. I'm quite confident that MLB is very happy with the baseballs they've chosen to use uh, this postseason. But when you flash that graphic again, I mean, look at the numbers. 58 runs scored uh, through the first five games of the World Series, 22 of them home runs. You know, the slugging percentages, the on-base percentages. And yeah, some of it's the baseballs, but... Uh, you read some of the quotes. Okay, game two. After game two, which was a wild game, <laughs> uh, like many of them, Brent Strong, the Astros pitching coach, quote, we had a well-pitched game tonight from both sides. I'm not taking anything away from the players. I just want to know why. Why in the world would the baseballs in the World Series be different? Because you can see the difference. You can feel it. I don't understand it at all. Justin Verlander agreed with that quote, you know, and of course, uh, you know, the World Series ball is slicker. No doubt. I'm telling you, we're in here signing World Series balls before the game. It's hard to get the ink on the ball sometimes. It's different. I noticed it, especially throwing a slider. It didn't feel the same. The home run I gave up to Jock Peterson was on a slider. Now, Verlander still battled. I mean, he only gave up two hits in game two. Over six innings of work, both those hits were home runs, however, certainly uh, a concern. Uh, worth noting, the Astros 10-0 and in Verlander's 10 outings since they got him. Mm -hmm. Nine starts and one out of the bullpen. So it's Rich Hill. And again, a rematch of game two. Rich Hill went four innings and threw 60 pitches in game two. I thought Roberts blew it by taking him out so early. So as Roberts said, because of what happened in game five, the bullpen's been so bad and he's used everybody. They need and expect Hill to go deep in the game, which he usually doesn't do. But they're going to have to do it here, which is there. It's a disaster scenario if Hill gets rocked early. There's no one else behind him. They're, they're running out of pitchers. And so that, that's one thing he's looking for. And if you're Hinch, you got to be loving life because your bullpen's struggled and Giles has been demoted. But you have Verlander, who's a horse. And you're right. He only had two hits, both home runs in game two. But he, you, you expect at least seven innings out of Verlander tonight. I mean, look, I'm going to go real real brief with these quotes. Dave Roberts, under the circumstances of Game 5, you got to be open to pushing Hill, and I know he's up for the challenge. We can expect Hill to be pushed because how does Roberts trust anyone in that bullpen? Jance has now given up three runs in a row. You know, Morrow has been overworked in the postseason. The great arms that dominated, well, they're not dominating now, and the Astros, of course, have seen them all repeatedly in this series. You look at the A.J. Hinge quote. You know, I don't have a scripted way of getting our 27 outs. We have some strengths that we feel we can exploit, some matchups we want. <laughs> if that means I have to use guys in a unique way, that's fine. So basically, you know, <laughs> I mean, you don't want to use the expression, all bets are off in this situation because all bets are on. But when it comes to how these pitching staffs are going to be used, all bets are off tonight. Uh, look at the uh, tweet from Ken Gurnick. Robert said everyone is available to pitch tomorrow. Of course, that was yesterday, except for Darvish and Kershaw. We could see some bizarre uh, pitching changes tonight, or we could see both of these starters come in and throw gems. That's what yeah. uh, both Hinch and Roberts are begging for this evening, uh, a good performance out of their starting pitcher that saves them from going to the pen.
And Alex Wood should be the first guy out. First guy out of the pen, considering how great he pitched in game four, if something happens to Rich Hill. Hey guys, for the full video, go to sbrpicks.com. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now, not to mention a visit to our industry-leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now, the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.